so with this project, I was kind of trying to like make a vehicle just using like parts you could get at a hardware store. The wheels are bike wheels. And so there's this guy I found on the internet. He like makes these parts like the, so I bought these parts from him, the steering mechanism, which was a lot easier than trying to build it myself. But it was still very complicated figuring out the steering. So um, you can see like you can put an iPhone in just for like, you know, navigation or music. It has a brake here and then it has the acceleration. So to uh, accelerate, this is the uh, acceleration here. That's, the acceleration. That's, how, that's how you accelerate. You accelerate, then, but there's no gas. It has an electric motor. So the electric motor is in the back. And it spins the back wheels. And so it goes about, it goes about like maybe 20 max, mm -hmm. especially downhill. Johnny! Hey. It goes about 20 miles an hour max and it has about, it's supposed to have a 10 mile range based on its weight, but it's probably a little less than a 10 mile range. I kind of base it on San Francisco because it's like a seven mile square. San Francisco, seven miles by seven miles. So, you know, you should be able to get anywhere you need to go and back. Can you act sleep in this? Like, do you, yeah. fit, in, do you yeah. fit in there? Yeah, so you can, you can totally stretch out in here and sleep. Um, actually, you're, this steering wheel pops off. But so normally you could put your head that way. Okay. And then it has a kitchen back here. Like this is, you know, has a stove back here. Yeah, so this flips over and then it fits in here. Like this. Yeah, wow. It's like a boat stove or something, like, or for like an RV or something. And then it's got a sink here. It doesn't have any water in it right now, but you pump this. And this is a tank, so you can... And then it drains just onto the street, has a hose. If you had to, it's also for, you can urinate in there if you need to. Well, so you technically have a toilet as well. Yeah, and then, well, there's also a, uh, and then, hey, Johnny, watch out. So then, also, there's all the storage under here, too. I don't even know what's in here right now. <laughs> yeah, and then this one has gear to be able to walk down to the beach with, like has a wetsuit and... Um, swim fins and different things. And this is actually a, a toilet that you could use if you needed to. Yeah, so it kind of has like everything you need to at least to like survive for a day. It's fine for like a day off. You know, it's, it's better than a car, you know, as far as space and everything it has with it. Or for like a small trip. This is a suitcase I made. It has like, like all my art supplies in here. And so this is like something I would take on a trip I could take it has you know phone and um, a uh, sketchbook and then pencils so it's kind of I call it the study case because it's like it kind of a, has everything you need for like going on a trip but so then this all folds up but yeah then it's a suitcase and carry on actually you fit a lot into a small space <laughs> I know yeah, it's nice. It's you know, kind of an idea. Well, I think it's about like eight feet long. It's about four and a half feet wide, I'd say. Yeah. It's kind of based on like a sheet of plywood, the base of it. You know, it was cut out of a sheet of plywood. And then it's about five feet tall. I use plywood and fiberglass. So this is fiberglass. I learned how to fiberglass surfboards. Like, so these surfboards, have, they're made of foam, you know, with like a wood stringer through the center and then the foam shaped and then they're fiberglass. It's a pretty similar process. Like I build the structure and then I sand down any like high spots and edges. So it's somewhat curved and rounded off. And then I fiberglass the whole thing and then I sand it again, so get like, cause fiberglass, when you, when you fiberglass, it's kind of rough. Um, like it has these kind of bumps and things. And then you sand it again, and then you do like another coat of fiberglass sometimes. Then I cut holes, 
and then I put I build windows into the holes. So there's another window over here too. This is a lot of work, you know. <laughs> and it takes a while. This one probably took like three months, I'd say. It was so much work, and there was a lot of like. I mean, I literally had to like do something, and then it wouldn't work, so I had to like cut into the car to like do something else. Like there was a lot of that. It was pretty frustrating. There was definitely times where I like almost gave up on it. There's a drawing I did of this vehicle. This is kind of like how I come up with designs, is I just, I do a lot of drawings oh, of things. Yeah. This is like this other thing. I don't know, it's like a Death Star. No, I think I was gonna make this hanging sphere, but I never, never made it. I mean, a lot of my projects, they kind of start off as like, this is definitely gonna work. Like, I'm gonna drive this all around the city. It'll be my car. And then you build them and then you try them and not all of them work perfect, you know, and they don't all work to the efficiency that I would want. But then I kind of figure like they become kind of like prototypes. With this thing, like I kind of had this idea of like a surf trip where you would like go up the coast in it and then you could, like it has a, you know, it would have a kitchen and a stove, you can make hot tea after surfing. And then you could also, like it has a bed too, so you could take a nap if you needed to while you were out surfing. You can definitely extend, I mean, it's eight feet long. And it's, you know, two people can carry it. It's pretty light. But, you know, one person's on the back and then one person like this and you can walk. You know, it's pretty, kind of see. It's pretty lightweight. It has a motor for it, but it's a really tiny boat. And I, it's kind of like a lot of the times when I make small stuff is just because I don't really have storage for like a giant boat, you know, like I would like this to be like a 12 foot. I'd like to use a Boston Whaler as like, cause this, so this is, this is just a dinghy under here. This is the base. I bought this off someone on Craigslist and then I built the shell over it. And so the shell can come off and on. So I would like to get a bigger boat, maybe like a 12 foot Boston Whaler. Cause they're really great for surf travel in wave zones. With this one, like I thought it was going to be great to go out on, out in like the, the ocean, but it's a little bit small and it, it could definitely get tipped over or flip. This is what I'm going to build the new car out of, the new camper. I'm going to build a flatbed on it first, so I'm taking this off and then I'm going to build like a shell that slides over the flatbed. I have to say, like, I really like having a house, you know? Eight, eight times three is 24 by 18, so what's that? A lot of the things I make are more kind of about, like, temporary structures or temporary autonomy. Okay, but then there's also this little space here. That's I like coming home to a house. You know, the comforts of home. I don't know, we could say, I'd say it's 475 square feet. Perfect right now, I think, yeah. yeah. But we also have this little loft up here where you can, so this is our guest room where people can stay sometimes. It has a dormer window. You can climb up if okay. you want. It's not made. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> I just have this guest, though. Uh, a lot of people don't make their beds. Because I think space is pretty nice. Like, the first vehicle I built was on a Honda Civic CRX. This is Rachel and me. This is when we drove across country. And so we slept up here in this compartment up here. Was it comfortable? The car? Yeah. Sleeping in it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's tight though. Like, you can't really move much. You have to be it's on like flat sleep. ground. If it's, you are it's on... It's like sleeping in one of those, you know, really efficient tents. Like, the two-person, like, that kind of coddle you a little bit. So my next one's going to be a little bit more spacious. This is kind of the latest drawing I've done of the new vehicle I want to make. So it's a similar kind of like, you know, contour to the, the, the electric car and kind of similar windows. It's going to have like a three dimensional. I call these crystal windows because they kind of look like a crystal, you know, like, you know, like crystal. Yeah. So they're kind of like crystals. But is what I want it to be is I want it to be a camper, like a totally function as a camper, but then also function really well as a work vehicle. So like the inside has to be able to fit like a four by eight sheet of plywood across the top where the bed, this would be the bed up here. There'd be a bed. You really like the idea of making a lot of things into 
Well, having beds and making livable. Beds, uh, yeah. Livable, I feel like it's not the most important thing. Like, I'm not going to go live in my car for, like, months on end or, like, even once a week or anything like that. But it's really a comforting thing knowing that you have the option. Yes. Lloyd's in everybody's house. Oh, Lloyd Kahn? I'm in his new book. Are you? Yeah. The tiny houses one? <laughs> yeah. See? See? Oh. Yeah. That's the same trip. That was when we were in Maine. Camped out. Wow. I don't know if I could have a car without a bed in it. It would be pretty... It would, it would be a whole different thing, you know, I guess. But I like knowing that I can sleep in it any time. It's nice to have the option.